Yep, that's what you should do. That always slaps me in the face. That one always does. All right, we're going to have a student of the gun homeroom. And what is the theme of the homeroom, Jared? To be dangerous on demand. To be dangerous on demand. And it is brought to you each and every week by our good buddies at CrossbreedHolsters.com. Dangerous by Madison Rising. Dangerous on demand. And if you guys go to crossbreedholsters.com, uh, if you go to www.sudenofthegun slash crossbreed, uh, use the promo code SOTG when you check out. You're going to get a high quality holster, belt, uh, belly band, whatever. And you're going to save money. It's made in the USA. They have a custom shop. If you guys are all, if you're looking for something a little bit different, cool, uh, standoutish, they actually have. You can get your Kydex, the the Kydex gun po- pocket portion in different colors and different camouflage schemes. Uh, one of the things that they did recently is they did a taco. They did a taco one. That's a limited edition. So if you didn't get your taco one, then, and, uh, well, you got to pay attention, man. So now you can get tropical terrain tattoo camo old. You can get an old glory one that looks like, uh, looks like a, a flag and so on and so forth. If you want to, if you want to stand out, you want to be unique. Like I want to be unique. And, and if you're a chick and, uh, you want, a floral pattern they've got like some kind of a funky floral thing like flowers i guess that's called tropical i guess the one with the flowers is called tropical so or if you're a dude you know if you're into tropical stuff i don't care do whatever you want to do man just know that that uh crossbreed holster's got you covered all right let's talk about being dangerous on demand lethal force versus non-lethal or less than lethal force oh uh, i was I think it was on our student of the gun. Uh, it was on our student of the gun YouTube channel and this suggested video popped up. It was over on the side. And I was like, Hmm, what is this all about? So I, I clicked on it, which was probably a mistake, but uh, there's a company out there selling a, a double shot. And I don't know what they propel it with, like compressed nitrogen or something. It can't be gunpowder because if it's gunpowder, that makes it a firearm. So it has to be something like compressed nitrogen or whatever. Uh, and it shoots the super magical pepper ball type thingies, right? Well, and you say, okay, cool, Paul. I mean, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. That's you know something people should have. Here's the problem. What's the problem, Paul? I'm going to tell you. The problem is, is the marketing for these is reckless. You see, they market these items, these pepper ball shooters and so forth. They're marketing to people not as a, an addition to your lethal force plan. No, they market them to people as opposed to you don't want to carry a gun, right? Garrett, guns are scary and 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 guns are mean and and if you shoot someone with a gun you'll get in trouble well give us four hundred dollars and we'll sell you this two-shot pepper ball gun and you can use it to stop all threats two-legged and four-legged no you can't that's not how that works if someone is going to stab you or shoot you or a dog's going to latch a hold of your leg. Here's, do we understand that by now, Jared? Do you think the audience understands that there's a difference between an aggressive animal and an animal that is attacking you? Yes. An aggressive animal, one that's just like, and it, you know, you need to get in the house, but there's this dog and it's over there and it's like, and it won't get close. An aggressive animal, animal doesn't have to be attacking you. Right. But an attacking animal is aggressive well yeah I, mean, I would say that if it's in the process of chewing your leg off it's probably aggressive yeah. uh an aggressive animal you can juice it with pepper spray and it will 
nine times out of ten, fornicate in a different direction. An animal that has begun attacking is not going to stop because you sprayed it. And it's not going to stop because you pepperballed it. Um, it's only going to stop if you, I guess, stab it through the throat uh, or shoot it. Okay? That's reality. That is reality. And unfortunately, when people sell this snake oil type stuff, now, Jared, you've been pepper sprayed, right? And and you've been tasered. Would you choose those instead of a gun? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Come on. Don't say stuff like that because people listening. Oh, you mean not as a receiver? (laughs) No, I I mean. Yeah, I thought you meant. Could, as a would receiver, you rather be pepper sprayed than receiver, shot? No, no, no. Like yeah. as a defensive tool, would I, you decide I'm not going to carry my gun? I'm going to carry this no, taser. No, no, I would. And and people are like, are you trying to say the taser doesn't work? No, no the taser does work. But here's saying. the deal: when police officers carry tasers, they don't they don't leave their there, guns at home. There's and that creates its own issue, as we've seen in in the uh, uh, use of force scenarios for police. But there's this thing called the use of force continuum. Have you addressed that already? Um, multiple times. I mean, on the show right now where we have new people listening. Yeah, the use of force continuum or justifiable use of force. The problem is is that what people do with these pepper ball things or whatever is they're like, well, I'm going to use that instead of a gun because it's just as good. No, it's not. That's not how that works. And you think you're being a nice guy? And what you're actually doing is setting yourself up to be murdered. I'm pulling this use of force continuum directly from the NIJ okay. uh, website so that I can give the exact uh, thing. Now, yeah. we, we kind of modify this and, and make it, f- this is for officers and whatnot yeah. on this site, but we've modified it and made it for concealed carriers. But you'll get the point here. So the use of force continuum is the officer presence. Mm-hmm. No force is used. Verbalization, force is not physical. Empty hand control, officer use bodily force to gain control of a situation. Less lethal methods, officer use uh, less lethal technologies to gain control of a situation. And then the last one is lethal force. So it's the same thing. If you're a concealed carrier, you have your presence, you have the verbalization, stop. Mm -hmm. Empty hand control, so if you have to go hand to hand, uh, then less than lethal and the lethal force. Now, sometimes you have to skip some of these because yeah. the other person might have lethal force already, so you have to go directly from uh, presence to lethal force, but that's something that you get training, and then you know what you have to deploy when you deploy it. Wow. I had no idea. I learned the use of force continuum and, and how to apply it and everything like when I was in the police academy. I had no idea that when you typed it in. Oh, yeah. There's so many things. It's holy cow yeah one of the biggest uh, problems that that people encounter is they fall into this weird belief well basically people don't have training is that in order to be justified you have to use all of them yeah like you have to like well you didn't use verbal or attempt non-lethal before you shot him so you're ill you broke the law and like no that's they don't expect you to use empty hands to combat somebody that's pointing yeah or trying to hit you in the head with a hammer you need to there i know he's trying to hit you in the head with a hammer but you need to use de-escalation techniques he's 100 yards away with a hammer it's a little bit different yeah no but if he's 100 yards away from a hammer he couldn't hear you talking anyway but Ladies and gentlemen, there there are obviously room for things like pepper spray and tasers and so on and so forth. But the, what's most dangerous, and, and this product I'm talking about was given the product of the year by uh, a company that makes me cringe. We've got, so we won't mention them. So we've got this uh, course here that we've produced and we've had it for a while. It's called Force Options, How to Defend Yourself Without a Weapon. If you're interested in less lethal techniques, go to shopsotg.com. Zach, can you create a promo code for this specific product? Yes. For this specific episode? So if you just make the promo code EP1148 and do 50% off for the listening audience. There you go. Wow, that's pretty righteous of us. Yeah, you're welcome. So uh, we're gonna put it and we're gonna put it in the show notes for you. But 
you got to understand you guys need to take training and you under, need to understand that these that there's these magic widgets that they sell you and i mean this these mother lovers want 400 bucks for their for their freaking less than lethal widget and if you if you're going to spend 400 bucks just buy a gun and you're like well but not everything can be shot no not everything sure. can be shot but if you you spend 1995 on fox pepper spray fox uh the fox pepper spray will kick you right in the scrotum if you already have a gun yeah. and uh and you're looking at buying one of those things spend that four hundred dollars put it towards training yeah put it on train put it put it towards training uh yeah the and we if can't, you get we can't highly options, recommend enough the, yeah if you get the, the force options product. course and you put that four hundred dollars towards training you'll still have 385 dollars left yeah so shop sotg.com use the promo code ep1148 yeah so there you go uh, there you go all right so that is my advice to you regarding is we we don't try and substitute less than lethal for lethal force just try, try because we're trying to be nice or whatever that's how you get your skull smashed in and you don't get to be alive anymore <laughs>